Hello, I'm Feng Feng. Welcome to Pacific Dialogue. A Netflix documentary, American Factory, brings a Chinese company's U.S. factory, particularly its founder Cao De Wang, into the spotlight. The Fuyao chairman has been criticized for his arrogance and his negative attitude toward unions. While most eyes are on the contradictions portrayed in the film and the first production by Barack and Michelle Obama's company, they forget one point. The guts it took for this Chinese company to bear all. The documentary's directors, Steven Bogna and Julia Ricker said, they appreciated the freedom they were given to film and even grew to admire Cao after working with him. Imagine an American company, a big company like that, allowing in two independent filmmakers with all their people for three years, right? Would that happen? Probably not. Would such an arrogant man have allowed two directors from a foreign country to film him and his factory for four long years and given them total freedom to record everything and anything they saw? I feel like the chairman is very much a maverick. He's in the latter parts of his career. Like he, he trusts his own gut a lot more than he worries about what's proper or not. What I saw in the film was Cao's humble attitude and how he carefully addressed cultural clashes. He hires U.S. managers at the beginning, the trying to make the factory more American. It's Fuyao Glass America. It needs to be an American company. We need to treat it like an American company, but we need to be successful just like all our plants throughout the world. Why in Rome do as the Romans do, he says, as he prowls his new plant, advising against putting a Chinese symbol on the wall. <laughs> When the film was presented to Cao and his management team for the first time, most of the managers worried about the possible negative effects on the company. However, Cao thought they were overreacting. Uh, and he also had a, like, a real generosity of spirit about it. He didn't love everything in the film, obviously, but, but he, he, you know, they were great about it. They've been great about it so far. Cao said, the film is about what makes China prosperous, who Chinese workers really are, and what the Chinese work ethic looks like. Jeff Liu Daochuan, president of Fuya Glass America, shared his thoughts on the film with us. This Obama said the film gives people the chance to better understand someone else's life, while at the same time, Fu Yao's U.S. factory offers a good case study for people to find a common ground. Fu Yao relies on local workers to make a profit, while workers need jobs to survive. What's happening in Fu Yao happens everywhere. If it's not cultural differences, there are regional differences or personality differences. Differences can actually bring us together in the end. It may just take a little more work at the beginning. Thanks for watching. See you next time.